Now to our team coverage of that federal hearing we told you about moments ago in federal court in West Palm Beach. A federal magistrate has agreed to release some documents related to the search warrant at Mar-a-Lago, specifically parts of the affidavit. Our WPTV News Channel 5's Matt Sesney, he was inside the federal courthouse live this afternoon and he was tweeting some feedback from the judge and what was happening inside. Matt, update us this afternoon. Shannon, this was roughly a 90 minute hearing that took place in a fourth floor courtroom here at the federal courthouse right before Magistrate Judge Bruce Reinhardt. Essentially, the media versus the Department of Justice here arguing about unsealing that affidavit connected to the Mar-a-Lago search warrant, which essentially would explain in detail why it was the FBI wanted to go into Mar-a-Lago and get the things that they wanted to get. There were five media attorneys inside the courtroom making their case, representing various media outlets such as the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, NBC, and Scripps, the parent company here of WPTV. Lead media attorney Charles Tobin made the case for the public's right to know what is inside that affidavit of the search warrant. At one point, he told Judge Reinhardt, you cannot trust what you cannot see. The attorney representing the U.S. government, Jay Bratt, admitted that there is great heightened public interest in this case and that the government has already gone to great lengths releasing that list of items that were taken out of Mar-a-Lago last week. The government also raised concerns about the identities, revealing possible identities of federal agents and also what they called the potential impacts that releasing this document could have on witnesses. Judge Reinhardt, for his part, though, did seem willing to go along with the media during his questioning of both the attorneys in this and then raised up the possibility of redacting, blacking out parts of that affidavit. Ultimately, the judge ruled that the government did not meet its burden of proof here to keep that document sealed. And so the judge has essentially asked the U.S. government to go back, take a week and propose the sections that they want to black out or redact from that document and then submit those proposals to the judge here by next Thursday at noon. At that point, the judge will then carefully go through what the government is proposing to keep out and leave in, and then ultimately he'll make a decision. So it's possible we may actually see this affidavit, probably from what uh, many are saying, in a matter of weeks. We're live outside the federal courthouse in West Palm Beach. Matt Sesney, WPTV, News Channel 5. A lot of back and forth, as you can tell, in that 90-minute hearing this afternoon. Again, Matt Sesney was there for it. He will hear more from him coming up at 5 o'clock tonight. Meanwhile, Contact 5 investigator Michael Butchner has been covering every angle of this since August 15th. He was on the beat of the media coverage outside and many people stopping by, supporters and detractors, really from all across the country, descending on our area once again. He's joining us from just outside the courthouse as well this afternoon. Michael. And that hearing lasted for about an hour and a half inside of a courtroom here at the federal courthouse here in downtown West Palm Beach. You know, I can tell you we arrived here this morning about 930 or so. It has been very quiet out here outside of the national and local media that had set up shot here, shop here to cover this event. Uh, we did see a couple of vehicles drive by with some flags, appeared to be uh, supporters of President Trump. But for the most part, it has been relatively quiet out here as this hearing went on. We did see a lot of security in the area, as you could imagine, though. There were marshals that were walking up and down the street outside in front of uh, the courthouse here. We did see uh, some officers from the Department of Homeland Security. If we could take a look at some video, hopefully we we're able to get for you um, from Chopper 5 that was flying overhead as the hearing was going on and as that hearing came to an end. Uh, after that hearing wrapped up, a media attorney representing another media company stepped up to the microphones here and discussed Judge Reinhardt's decision today. Here's part of what she had to say. Take a listen. Judge Reinhardt seemed to have a very good uh, sense that it is his job as the gatekeeper in this case to perform his function of balancing the interest in the public of accessing these materials against the interest in the government in keeping them secret. Judge Reinhardt gave us some clues to that today by telling us, for example, that at this juncture he is not inclined to keep the entirety of the search warrant application and its affidavit under seal. Again, the Department of Justice has until noon next Thursday, a week ago next week,
to make a decision on what to do with that affidavit, to submit it to the judge with any type of information that needs to be redacted. The judge will then decide what will be released and what will or will not be made public. For now, we're live in downtown West Palm Beach. Michael Butchner, WPTV News Channel 5.